podcast. Welcome to Trust the System podcast, episode five. five. Uh, <laughs> probably should cheers out there. Because yeah, we had a even week. I mean, yeah, no, no fireworks, but... 10 and 10, but for my friends back in Ireland, it was an even week because there's no vig back there, so no harm, no foul, I guess. Um, but... I guess, yeah, you know, that's that was a bad week for the system. Uh, so you, you witnessed, you finally witnessed a bad week for the system. Um, it could have been worse if we were if we were going nuts on parlays and um, over unders and stuff, but we really didn't. We knew we'll get into that. Um, I guess to start, I guess we just start reviewing the games, get that bit over. Yeah, done with the so. last time said about them the batter. Uh, Mike, do you want to do yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do that. I went one and two, and we said this last week. No fifty fifty. No 50 50. I got to go 50 3 this week, so I can't go 50 50. I had to go one way or the other. The first one, we did say Notre Dame is probably a system killer, and now they officially, now we know. They officially made the list. They're the first people, well, that, besides Vinny, Notre Dame made the list now. They're number two on the system killer list. Yeah, which I had them there a couple of weeks ago. I think I'm ahead of the curve when it comes to system killer. <laughs> good at system killer game. I might have another one on the list. Nebraska. But- yeah, oh, Nebraska's Notre Dame is definitely on there, right, right below Vinny. We'll put up a yeah, we'll put up a board. I think I've got a board. We'll put up next week because I was going to put like the Jets on it, but Jets. They, yeah, last week. They, they can't be system killers after last week. Yeah, well, we'll know more about system killers probably next week. That's it. Yeah, mid season almost. So yeah, that's when you can put it down. But for yeah. now, take it as said that Notre Dame are head of the list. Nebraska's yeah. underneath them, and Vinny. Will always be there. <laughs> it's a permanent, <laughs> yeah. stable. Notre Dame might have a chance of getting off Nebraska. <laughs> Vinny, Vinny doesn't. No yeah. shot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, All right, right, the second game was uh, the Irish go to the loser, I guess. The Titans and the Bills. We picked the Titans. I thought it was a lot of points. Again, ten points. Even though the Bills are a really good team, I thought that they would cover the spread, and they got smoked on Monday night. Bills killed them. Look, we thought the Bills were going to kill them. That's why we picked the Titans. Yes. and sometimes we're right. Yeah, should have <laughs> won our gut, I guess that time. <laughs> that is and. Un- so we'll, we probably will give them one more chance. Actually, I, I think I'm, I'm ready to put the Bills on the system killer list. And that means like the Bills are, it's not that they're just too good. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Think they're too good. It's yes. the opposite of a system exactly. killer. Really. Too good. But you still technically call them a system killer. Yeah. I think they're too good. We might give them, or you boys might be giving them one more shot this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Cause cause or it could just there, be the but, Titans that were so bad. But also the Rams yeah. week one as well. I know. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm ready to put them there, but as... We yeah. will give them one more week. Now, uh, the win I have, I'm very proud of. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it might be my <laughs> proudest moment on the show. I don't even remember who it was. Right. He's taking the Cowboys. Not, 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 not oh, that was, and you know what the funny thing is? When you said that last week, you said, I take the Cowboys to win. And you're like, no, 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 the spread. Yeah, it actually, they actually did wow. win. Yeah, that, was, that slip of the tongue was... Yeah, I should have <laughs> went with the money line. If, if Angelo had to cut it out, he would have looked like a freaking yeah. superstar. We don't do money lines. Don't listen to this guy. <laughs> no, Cooper I Rush, I hate the guy, but he had a great game. <laughs> He's the truth. <laughs> he is the truth. He might be the truth. <laughs> yeah, so, well, yeah, that was a good win. You did Cooper Rush, the idiot, last week. Yeah, yeah. he was an no, idiot. He's, idiot. No, he's a freaking Einstein. No. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's an Einstein. <laughs> I love him. Great guy. So that, the Cowboys, the Cowboys. Uh, we told you last week, there's a reason why that we can't get into that they were the, probably the best pick of the week, and they fucking won the game, uh, and we can't really get into that. And look, 90%er. That was a 90%er yes. because... We might get one more week out of the Cowboys, but that was a very mm. like a, a spot play for us, and it doesn't like it, it, there's, no prong, yeah, there's no prong activity. It to doesn't it. continue. Yeah, it's a it's one, just like a boom, 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 and that's why we told off. you to hit it. Yeah, and mm-hmm. man, those, those things for us always hit. Yes. That's a great bet. I was counting my, my chips on that before yeah. the game. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I bet the, I, we, I've said it now a few weeks in a row. I'm a Bengals horrible start for the Bengals. I'm a Bengals fan. The fact that they lost that game, I just can't get over it, man. Yeah. Cooper Rush we're, really dominated him. We're done. And, you know, we had to throw Sparno a bone, so we gave him the Cowboy game. That was. Well, <laughs> that's I liked him. I, went to, I said they are going to win. I actually <laughs> said it. <laughs> um, all right. I suppose we'll get the losers out of the road. So, uh, actually, last week, I was getting a little cocky, going head-to-head with the big guy after my 3 starts. start. So, I had to eat some humble pie uh, on my picks last week, so I probably should uh, wear the outfit for it. Uh-oh. This is uh, <laughs> the bag of shame. Uh, bag of shame. Seamus's bag of shame. Uh, Angelo, I don't know if you can actually hear me still. <laughs> Probably best you can. We should have put a hole in the mouth <laughs> instead of the eyes. Hear me. <laughs> I'll talk it like this. So. <laughs> All right, explain those picks, Mr. Shame. Yeah, so the first game was our Friday Night Lights game, Louisville against Florida uh, State. Honestly, I don't know if you've watched that. I can't even see this, by the way, but I... Uh, it was a great game to watch. Uh, I love Malik Cunningham, the quarterback from Louisville. He had the ball with the last uh, 
minute driving. He threw a pick to end the game, but look, I always want to be in that game. And it's just the way it goes sometimes. I just call it a loser. So that put me 0-1, unfortunately. Uh, went on to the next game, was my pick of the week, NIU, and unfortunately they lost to Vandy 38-28. That was tough. That was tough because if you watch that game, uh, their quarterback got injured in the second quarter. How stupid does this look? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It we love it. <laughs> and I get like a nice echo in here, but uh, <laughs> their quarterback got injured in the second quarter, so they had to throw in like a red shirt freshman. This was his first throws ever. he done as well as you could expect, but when it came to money time in the fourth quarter, um, like it, he just couldn't, he just couldn't finish the game off. So I got lucky this week where my two losses in both those games, the quarterbacks went out. So it's, that's a little unlucky. System can't allow for that. Obviously, it was like the only two games the quarterbacks went out. So yeah. uh, and NIU was up, NIU was up twenty eight to fourteen at one point, and it looked like they were going to easily uh, win that one. But they were. Um, <laughs> yeah, they were. They were, Mister Shame. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that that got me to one two. Another week that could be one and one, two and two and zero. Oh. Uh, and finally, take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bones. <laughs> <laughs> I went with the forty, uh, the San Francisco 49ers. The Niners. The Niners. Bones. Bones actually, hey, real quickly, had a great. He had a great week. He's joined top of Dano. He, he went three and two. Um, the 49ers. We told you last week the little tidbit that Geno Smith was nine and one against the spread. Nine and zero. Oh. Sorry, Begging nine and zero. Oh. Begging you. Nine and zero. Oh. And we said on the show last week that after Sunday, he'd be 9-1. and, one. Nine and one. Yep. How did that end up? I said it just nine like one. that. 9-1. Mm -hmm. So uh, I didn't actually watch one snap of that game. Didn't uh, need to. So easy. Didn't need to. Yeah, and that's, it was over before it started. And just real quickly, just before I finish, and that's why, like, if you're telling you Geno Smith was 9-0 and last Sunday, that means he was 8-0 going into the Broncos game last Monday night. But why no one did, talked yeah, about it. Why did they not tell you that? Because uh, it didn't fit mm, the narrative. I love that, James. They wanted you to bet the Broncos. That's very good. Very good for very, very And good. then when they wanted you to take the Seahawks, that's when they'd give you that little tidbit. Yeah. So that's the things that we, we like to find out and we, yeah. we highlight it. So uh, it and, finished it's pretty good. But. You know what? Honestly, if you fans out there, we got some followers now. If you if you guys see anything like that that looks fishy, that may, like, like it looks like they... They're making you try to bet a certain team. DM us and let us know because yeah. we, we, we don't see everything. Because it's big. Yeah. We're busy. And it happens. So I think the ESPN yeah. and our Fox Sports. That's why I'd love to, put stuff I would up. love to know. I said that last week. I'm like, just see how, how, how many times you hear it. I wasn't really paying attention that much, but I, I heard it once on ESPN and once on uh, the Colin yeah. Cowherd uh, Fox uh, Sports Show. So Barstool I heard it two uh, posting it. Oh, they were as well. Yeah. See, I'm saying, and anyone listening, I'm sure there was different times you heard it because mm -hmm. that's what they wanted you to know. Uh, so finished one and two. Uh, we'll get back next week. Uh, we'll pass over to Phil. I'm sure, he lost. I didn't bring a crown. Uh, <laughs> I, didn't, oh, I didn't bring God. a crown. I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't get a, uh, you know, a magical do, bag. Do it, my bag. Looks nice. But uh, nine and zero on the show. Three and zero last know, week. The system champion. Three and zero last week. It, it might never end. So I don't think I, it will actually. I had um, Oregon minus three and a half. That's a Phil special. They were. I'm going to reiterate it. They were ranked 25. BYU was ranked 12. Oregon was the favor in the game. Got to take that. System, that that two, take system 102 for Phil. System 102. System <laughs> one, that, 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 that's, that's, not even, that's not even hard system. That's almost as good as the Cowboys. That's easy Honestly. system. Yeah. Things like, things like that are kind of easy yeah. system. Bets. That's once a gimme now that everyone knows. Once you understand yeah, it. It should. You know. The same thing was Washington, the next game. Washington I was minus three and a half. They were unranked. Michigan State was, ra Michigan State was ranked 11. And they crushed them. Crushed them. Minus three and a half. And that's a Phil special. And now you guys know what I know, and you've been seeing it firsthand. These games are most of the time going to win you money. I think you've literally selected either five or six. A lot of them. Your six. No, yeah, that's half, yeah. Your, record, or half your records out there. So uh, that's for the college. And then I said Pats were my pick of the day on Sunday. So uh, when, when we had the Pats last week, they were minus two and a half. Right before game time, it went to three. So if you had the straight bet on that, you probably had the minus two and a half. I know a lot of people uh, watching this only take the picks on the show, it seems like, because I've been getting a lot of texts, and those have been good. So you yeah. had the pass, and I, I'm going I'm to include the pass as a winner. Oh, well, you got them as a winner. I unfortunately got it a three. Yeah, I got I, my name was three, push. so I got a push, which... You had plenty of time to get two and a half. I, I mean, oh, tons yeah. of time. I'm not going to go eight and one because of that, or no. eight and zero. No. Uh, eight, 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 nine, eight zero one. You know eight, what I mean? Uh, you know, the parlay I gave, you probably had Pats minus three at the time because... Um, by the time I gave that parlay, they were minus three, so I'll count that as a push on that, on that one. We still want a bit of money. It's a win with the parlay, but a push on the path bit. Um, and that's that for that. Let's recap over. You're now 9-0. So, yeah. Sparno is 
Shit, I should have took a picture. I mean, of this. know my record. Actually, uh, overall, I'll go over the the board behind us. Angelo's gonna make a nice little caption uh, on the screen for us. I know um, last week you probably need your uh, binoculars to see the board, <laughs> <laughs> but this week we're gonna make yeah. it easier. I hope. <laughs> Very nice board right here. If so, you want that um, system money, Angelo. <laughs> last week we went five and four with the picks on the show, which is our worst week so far. Um, but you know that's still pretty good, I guess. Um, we went four and seven with picks off the show, which, you know, we, we haven't been good yet with that. I mean, it's not terrible, but um, maybe, maybe, maybe if you guys watching the show, you want to just take the picks on the show, that's fine. The show picks not are great because we do, it's like, we, we meet up here in the morning before the show and we sit down, we yeah. talk, we bounce yeah, ideas off. Strongest ones yeah, we go feel. through it. Yeah. A lot of Saturday and Sunday, for me personally, I don't want to speak for you two, but whenever I'm doing it, it's kind of like, it's bang, bang. It's just, it's just what I see. Yeah. When I put it out there and that's yeah. more 50, 50 sometimes. Yeah, whereas the show, it. Yeah. we're putting in the, we're putting in the work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you want to just follow the show, especially for the newbies. I'm not the ones that really stand out. I'm, really I'm going to explain to you guys what you should, what I think you should do. In a minute. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. So you college listen? last week we went three and seven. NFL we went seven and three. Big surprise after a bad Saturday, you have a good Sunday. We told you that we last week. Happens all the time. Um, the sprinkle picks we went one and zero, oh, so now they're three and zero. Oh, and actually on Monday we had another one, so we're actually four and zero. Oh, but I'm not going to yeah. put that up yet because Monday starts the new week. Um, one more sprinkle pick to the change of the name. So Sparno's, <laughs> Sparno's three. Uh, a total Sparno's three and four. Seamus is six and three, and I'm nine and zero on the show. And parlays were two and one. That's pretty good. Yeah, the parlay. Honestly, even though I'm probably contradicting myself because I said last week I don't like parlays that much. I did actually do a parlay in the Saturday night games, and I actually hit it. So because okay. we said early Saturday afternoon wasn't great, but we trust the system. Yeah. We knew it was going to turn. It wasn't one of those weekends where we thought it's too early in the season for Vegas just to hammer the system. We say they give it back. It's yeah. usually in the middle of the season. I'm looking down October, November. So it was too early for the system not to prevail. And the night games, like you put out two on Saturday at 7 o'clock, and yeah. I took a couple and of 10 o'clock games. I'll briefly say something real quick with the parlays, and I'll fill those parlays, but... Oh, there we go. Um, go. I just feel like when you're following this, everyone wants to bet small and win big. I get that. Yeah. But the way you got to do it, you kind of just got to hammer these games big. Straight. Straight. That's when you make money. These parlays are nice, but it's kind of a bonus. I'm, I'm, and, and it's hard to just, you know, when, you can't bank on winning parlays. Yeah. So I'm going to explain that yeah, actually course. right now. Okay, cool. So um, the sprinkle bets are full bets. They're not half bets anymore especially you know after actually I, I i always do a full bet on every game i'm not when, so when, do i when Me i too. say sprinkle I, I off max bet when time. i say sprinkle <laughs> i still do a full bet so if you're following me if you want to follow me every bet that i post on twitter and instagram is a full bet and you bet them straight every single one if you're not doing that you're picking and choosing you're gonna lose yeah, okay yes i'm that. telling you right now so saturday what had happened was we picked Nebraska and Indiana, and we lost those. At, that was 12 p.m. So once that happened, Nebraska, by the way, looked so system to me. Like, who could fucking bet? I even said, this bet makes me sick to my stomach when I bet it. Yeah. I like, really loved Oklahoma and just took Nebraska because that system. And they just happened to, you know, it happened to happen, the real thing. The thing that we thought was going to happen, happened. That happens yeah. sometimes. That's why Nebraska are system killers now. Now Nebraska is a system killer. So after those two bets lost, I did not do any parlays the rest of the day. I just took the system straight because th them losing those two games is a signal for me, a signal for you, that today might not be a good day. Mm -hmm. So don't do parlays if that happens. Just take every bet straight and relax because eventually the system prevails. Yeah. You just have to stick with it. Especially, like, again, for the newer people as well. I think parlay is more for, like, a season batter as well. Like, I'll, I'll shout out to my brother back in Ireland, uh, Cahal. He, he, will, he follows the system religiously, and then he, he just parlays everything. And, I, and he doesn't even understand the concept of what a parlay is yeah. and why he's losing, but yeah. winning he's the separate like, bets. He's winning and, the separate yeah. bets. He's like, why did I not lose, win this parlay? I'm like, you just, just stop it. Just Let's stop. not go crazy about that until our guest comes on the show. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah, all right. That. So, Saturday at 7 p.m., we won both those bets. Um, what was it? Washington and Texas, Texas A&M. Yeah. So we went 2-0 at 7. So that, that's a signal to, you know, you got to stick to the system. Always just bet straight every game. Because, mm -hmm. look, we had a bad start to Saturday. It, it really wasn't good. That's probably the worst Saturday we're going to have for a while. Mm -hmm. And we went 2-0 at the end of the day. 
Yeah. So if you, I'm going to assume that a lot of you out there, you might have took our 12 p.m. bets and then you might have hammered the 3 p.m. bets. And then you stopped. And then you stopped. Yeah. And then the two seven o'clock games won and you're pissed. You yeah, got to be consistent. You got to be a robot. You have to be a robot. You have to bet the same every game yes. the entire time or just don't even mm -hmm. follow, don't even watch this motherfucking podcast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Piss off. So, um, that's okay. And also, so we had a bad Saturday. We said on the last episode, that means good Sunday. That was perfect timing. And it way. actually wasn't a great Sunday. It was good. I wouldn't say great, but I did post parlays because back in my mind, I'm thinking this is going to be a good Sunday because I knew it was a bad Saturday. So I posted a couple parlays. We hit one, pushed on the pass, but we hit the other two. That's a win. Mm -hmm. And we, we happened to lose the other parlay. That the reason I posted the parlay is because I was doing parlays and I think you should have done some parlays, but you gotta also, like when I bet, I'm betting every single game I post straight and then I'm doing the parlays on top of it. I'm not just doing parlays and that's it. No. Every game straight is the way to bet. I've only done straight bets for the, for yeah, the start of the season any, except for one parlay. I didn't know I won the parlay. So no, just one parlay. None. So you pick and choose. Like pick pick parlays. Don't we're telling you to follow the system. We're not telling you to follow every single but parlay. Like Phil said, yeah. If it's going bad, that means just you know step in the brakes a little bit. Step in the brakes. And just, just do straight bets. Keep straight bets. If we're hot and you want to you know dabble a little, a little parlay, then that's yes. cool. Very nice. All right. So um, that's nice. Uh, we got. Our special guest today Ugh. is going to be our cameraman, Angelo, yep. for multiple reasons. First yes. of all, because he's awesome. Second of all, well, We could just stop right there, but <laughs> there, there's actually multiple reasons. We had, we had our friend, Alir, who did this wall. I spoke about him once. Yep. I was supposed to come on. But then he started betting. You know when he started betting? The Louisville game on Friday. He's a person you just described two minutes going, ago. Yes. He followed the first five He wound up going like 0-5. And, and stopped. And stopped. <laughs> and stopped betting. Like we, we literally said this last week. You can't do that. And he did it. And he's pissed at us. And he's not coming on the show. Yeah. Then we had to get Jay, my barber, who actually introduced us to Angelo. We'll get yeah. into that later. That's the only good thing about Jay. Yeah. That's the only thing <laughs> Sorry, good. Jay. And, and it's, I've probably known his whole entire life. Well, um, but yeah, he was supposed to be on the show. And he's very anti-system as well. And uh, he may have some story about his daughter, which I don't believe. The, but whatever. The, 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 <laughs> wow. The funny thing is, I hope she's okay. I hope matter. she's okay. By the way. Yeah, I hope she's okay. Yeah. Too. The thing is, like, we actually look. We've 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 prepped this pretty well. Me and Phil, we and Sparta, we've got guests lined up for like uh, the next two months. Yeah, two months, pretty much up yeah. to Thanksgiving. So this week was a little. Uh, we were a little stuck. So. Honestly, me and Phil of the majority of guests were like, you know what, Sparno, can you get us one guy? And we just like, need just one guy. <laughs> one, dude, any friends outside of us? <laughs> and he, he called promised, out. yeah. He, he called out at 9 a.m. I'm this not morning. even sure if this guy exists, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I come in on air. <laughs> it looks like Pretty it's fast, bro. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's get uh, Angelo on, uh, and he, he's good to have on as well because he's learned. He's got a first front row seat, front row seat to the system. To the system yeah. because he doesn't know nothing about it. He had no it. idea about the system before the show. You know, we, we, we got him out of nowhere from Sparno. Thank you, Sparno. Yeah, Sparno, for I, th I do yeah. thank you. For this is the only time I'll say thank you, Mike Sparno. <laughs> Sparno did great getting Angelo. He's awesome. Yeah. And uh, Angelo has a lot of experience in the podcast business. He's got a little experience gambling now. Yeah. And he's like, as we're doing this, more people are like talking to us and stuff. Because people are, we originally done this for, this was almost just for gambling. We, we've got people talking to us who don't know nothing about gambling, but they just enjoy the show. Yeah. So Angelo coming on is a good person because he's like those people who don't know much about gambling. Yeah. And maybe him being here, it might explain it a little more, I guess, you know? Yeah. We can make it. We can dumb it down for you. Yeah. All right. Woo! Yeah. All right. Yeah. We got the main man. We got Angelo, Angelo on the show. <laughs> Thanks for pulling us out of a hole. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you guys. Let's give it cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cheers. Maybe the fireworks yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's a fireworks. <laughs> Smart, like, that's, that's fireworks material, all right? So as we said, uh, the reason we uh, got Angelo here is because of Mike, so. Yes. So uh, I met Angelo through my barber, Jay, who was originally supposed to be here. Wait, can I ask Angelo a question? Yeah. Does Jay exist? <laughs> Me and Phil. Jay, he's, a, he's the real ghost, man. Even at the barbershop, he's barely yeah. there. No. Oh. <laughs> it's an all-day project when I uh, get a haircut with him. Yeah, what happens when you get a haircut? Yeah. Oh, I got to get him the treats, which I'm actually going to bring on the show now. Yeah, oh, yeah? actually a good time. You now. bring him a treat every time? So I got to give him a, a, a lunch every time I get a haircut. Oh, good God. And I get the sandwich. So running. the haircut winds up costing you a fortune. Oh, a fortune. So I get him Jay. the sandwich. 
<laughs> and he loves a sandwich. It's a very simple sandwich. And <laughs> what's in it? <laughs> it's just chicken cutlet, mozzarella cheese, and cherry peppers. That's it. And, and when I'm not there to give him a sandwich, he has to call me. Yo, what's that sandwich you got me? I figure what's in it. I'm like, man, it's three ingredients. It's <laughs> <That's not, that's laughs> really not that hard to understand. Uh, so he actually brought some so today. I brought, I brought it in for him, but we're going to enjoy it and eat it in front of him. Oh, Hopefully he's watching. I'm actually fucking starving. It, well. was, the, it was the funniest story about how Sparno confronted me to help, you know, to get to produce this podcast. I'm filming a birthday party for Jay's son, mm-hmm. and I'm minding exist. my business filming, and I feel a tap on my shoulder. <laughs> and you look, around, you look, you look down. Like, hey. like, oh, what's up, bro? He goes, hey, man, do you, you film podcasts or something? Like, yeah, that's literally what I do for a living. And so he's like, yeah, bro, I got a couple guys that we just want to do. He didn't tell me what it was. He's like, I got a couple guys that were, you know, that work at the bar with me, and they want to do a podcast. So I'm like, I, I'm down to meet with you guys. Yeah. And oh then, wow! So, yeah, you almost done it blindly. Yeah. We kind of did it blindly. That's, that's the best. That's the best job. That's yeah. the best Actually, gigs. as a matter of fact, Sparno, we we've been th- we've been thinking about doing this podcast for five years, but <laughs> we probably never would have done it because it would have had to be all of our own stuff that we yeah. didn't have, and we yeah. had no idea how we to do this camera camera phones, shit. Cameras, and then all yeah. stuff. Sparno came to us two weeks before the season started, mm-hmm. and it's like, I got this guy. We got to well, do it. I will say, I met Angelo about five times because every time Jay, Jay, has, a, Jay has a kid. Yeah, he has a cameraman, oh, and, Jay, and he's always there. And Jay's about, you know, he gets a kid every other, every other year. He has a kid. <laughs> so I seen Angela at a lot of parties before this, but the okay. last time actually, you finally worked up the courage. <laughs> 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 Sparno was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nice because it worked out. Yeah, and, it worked out good. and thank you, Sparno, again. Yeah, mm-hmm. and thank you, Angela. Uh, no, definitely. Yeah, thank you for doing this for us. Well, I will get the treats so I can eat while we're yeah, yeah, because I'm like, let's get the treats. Let's eat these sandwiches right in Jay's face. That shit yeah, looks good, good from afar. Damn, this is Jay's like special. It's like the Jay. This is the Jay special. This is not ham and cheese. Like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, you Bologna, don't remember the ingredients either? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. The, um, so actually, Andrew, real quick then. So then you, you said that Sparno told you, you came and met us and you didn't know what, what was going to happen. No, I don't think he told me up front at the, yeah, bo- really, at the party. I didn't really get into it. He just said we want to do a podcast. And he's in Yummy. Which, he asked me, he I'm fucking starving. Hold on. I see jalapenos. Oh, cheers. Yeah, come on. You can't fucking cheer. I can't get away with my fucking bones. <laughs> the chicken cutlet. <laughs> the bite side. Wait, there's oh, jalapeno on it too? Uh-huh. No, it's cherry peppers. Cherry peppers. Oh, cherry pepper? I don't know. <laughs> Where's the J? How do cherry peppers? This is so not good to eat on the cherry pepper like green? <laughs> no. <laughs> the cherry pepper's not red. It's fucking green. Jay will have a dry ass sandwich. I don't know. It's so dry. Man, the nose, no ketchup, no hot sauce, yeah. no anything. What the hell? We're gonna choke on this podcast. <laughs> Fuck's sake! <laughs> but I remember then. So at least, well, like, Phil is very serious about the system. So the, the day Matt Angelo, Sparno, and Phil were there, I showed up like three hours late. Oh mm. my god! <laughs> did I you, Angel- kill you? Yeah. Did you Angelo think is like this guy's a fucking dickhead or why? Oh like- yeah. What did you think about Seamus <laughs> that day? No, when Seamus came in. I don't know if that was your lady or not, but he came in and I was like, he must have hey. been busy, but <laughs> hey, lady. he must have been busy at the time, so I get it. But everybody seems to know what they're talking about. Um, every, the, 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 the um, chemistry is here. Is, is, we have all the ingredients to make a great podcast mm-hmm. and a great future. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I thought it was great. All right, so, um, Angelo, mm-hmm. you've done Charlemagne the God's podcast. Mm-hmm. You've been oh. the cameraman on Charlemagne the God. Mm-hmm. So, Big time player. Yeah, shout out so, to the Brilliant Idiots podcast. Yes. So how, how, how do you compare our awesome podcast to his mediocre podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I think you know, Charlemagne's podcast is great. This podcast is great and it has the <laughs> potential to be even greater. One thing about podcasts, man, is this consistency. A lot of people do podcasts and do three, four weeks in a row and they stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The 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 key to doing a great podcast is just being consistent. We're not fucking leaving. We're not leaving. We're not fucking leaving. <laughs> Phil just, I was in the bathroom and Phil was like, I wish you could do this every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awesome, man. <laughs> I love this shit. Yeah. That's great. I love that. helping people too. Mm. Actually, I really don't. But I like helping you guys with the gambling. It's good. <laughs> I like that. Because uh, we're all losers, so we've been there. Yeah, yeah. we've been there. We like, know how it is. If, if you're a loser out there, you know, we're, we're, we did so much work over 20 years to help you know, us become winners, and now you don't have to do that same work. You could just literally sit at home, jerk off, and wait for the Twitter pics to come out. Uh-huh. That's it. Yeah. 
I'm actually one of the founders of the system, and that's exactly what I do. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I do love that the fact that, what is it, Charmaine? It's Charmaine. Char 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 Charlemagne. He's got 4.5 million followers. We have like 224. <laughs> we're, we're, and we're, we're, in the, we're in the same key. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that was a joke. We're going <laughs> that, that was a joke. <laughs> I know. Shout out to Charlemagne. So, um, yeah, love him. What do you think about the system? Angelo, I know you, you, you know, what Yo, do you think about our system? I had a, the, do you have what, your own system? Sorry. Uh, I do have my own system. How, I, okay. I'll go to my system first. My system yes. is fucked up. Go to Angelo's <laughs> system. What is your system? There's a little bit of, it's just random how I feel in that day. Mm -hmm. um, I do a lot of like, it's been baseball season, you know, and they're um, fun for prop bats. And a lot of, I do a lot of like players to get a base hit. Mm -hmm. And how I choose those players is, is is random as hell. Like my girlfriend's last name is Garcia, <laughs> so one day I choose all the players with the last name Garcia. Hey, that's system though. Uh -huh. This is very um, close to Sparno system. That's like a Sparno system. Oh, yeah. Jackie Sparno. Robinson Day. I I googled all the Black African American players in the MLB and, and chose well, all of them to get a hit one time. Yeah, wow, there. <laughs> that might work. That, that, that might like, work. There was like twelve. <laughs> That's really? A good oh, really? Yeah. Not, not counting Dominicans. I like oh, that pick. <laughs> That'd be That's pick. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, all so I really just do random, like how I'm feeling, a pattern. <clears throat> I Google like um, hit streaks, active hit streaks, and I choose a yeah, number. Good. Like my favorite number is six. So whatever baseball players that have six day, six game hit streak, I choose them to get wow. seven. Oh, okay. Do you want to put six as a system number? We have we have numbers too, seven, like seventeen. Eight. But is mind one of our you, numbers. mind you, I've never hit any of these. Uh, <laughs> then, then it, no. I haven't hit anything. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a system Ever. number. It's, like, it's, it's been a since March. I haven't hit not a damn we thing. We have two Spartos in the show. Yes. Uh, as seen, as seen, as next to me. Yeah, I'm a Sparto. <laughs> as seen on episode one, don't bet baseball. Yeah, yeah baseball isn't positive. Baseball, baseball is not system. Pure right. luck. And then uh, Angelo guess, as we said, you have the front row seat to our system. Yeah. Uh, what do you feel? Do you have any questions? Do you know what's going on? The Are you like Sparno? You don't know what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of get what's going on. So how I think of the system, how I bet it towards baseball, even though there's no system towards baseball, no I basically system. chose, and those the, I do like 25 leg parlays, or 15 leg parlays because it's 30 games, 15 teams. Yeah. That's and so it's too much. I literally chose, okay, it was like Mets versus Rockies. And I literally chose one time system bets, meaning as like Mets are in first place, Rockies are in last place. So you picked the Rockies. I go Rockies. Okay. Yeah. And, they were, and they fucking won 13 nothing. Like, and I did a I whole parlay like that. And I was one one game off. Wow. I bet the Yankees. I never yeah. go against the Yankees because who knows? Wow. Yeah, just and it might have been boy. system to go against yeah, them. And it was yeah. so system to go against them. Wow. Man, they, I messed out on a 15 leg parlay. That rock, that game literally was in the last two weeks, right? Because I remember seeing the Rockies beat the Mats 13 0. Yeah, that, it was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was real recent. It was right? really recent. Yo, that yeah, it must have been because he knew the system. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's great. And that was one of the system bets. How like your system? I I, I kind of feels the same way. I don't want to give away like all the turn of trains, but yeah. I know like <laughs> as the season go on, as the season goes on, injuries happen yes. to you know star players. You got to kind of like you think they're like even for example week one when you, you guys bet Baker Mayfield on the Panthers against the Browns. Yes, everybody's like, oh yeah, he's gonna get his revenge game. My. Come on, yeah, guys. Come on, son. That's what everybody's thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta go get. You gotta there go with the go. system. Yeah, Angelo to go get that. that Angelo gets it. Yeah, I yeah. get it. I he's get not it. just. He's not your, just your average cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> he pays attention. Yeah, I'm the pod <laughs> guy. The pod <laughs> guy. Oh, oh the pod guy episode. episode. The pod there we go. Oh, I told you. I told you we would get the man <laughs> on the show. The pod god. Yeah, that is fucking awesome. So, oh, Angelo, I forgot to say, Angelo. um he, he 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 doesn't charge as much. It's kind of he does it cheap. He, he when we first met him, he said he kind of wants to help people from his neighborhood, which is which awesome. is where we're from, Westchester. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of just you know he helps out and he doesn't charge too much. Um, Absolutely, and it, it's been great. He does a lot of work. He's a great job. He does a lot for us. I yeah, try man. to be the person that I needed when I I, I try to start yeah. a podcast. I try to do stand up comedy back in the day. I want to be the person that I needed when I was doing all that shit. Mm -hmm. And that's and awesome. people were charging. Hundreds of dollars for this shit. Like they want this much for per episode. How am I supposed? Like I don't have a thousand dollars a week, like a month yeah. to pay. This and I shit. feel we feel the same way because that's why we we give stuff out. We give all information. Like we want to help. And we want to help everybody. Like everyone likes exactly. us. Exactly. Yeah. And he's helping us. Yeah. So. Like Andrew said, we, we we've been there. We've been fucking in the slums, losing every week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I feel like you guys are a great investment. Long term. Wow. It is. Definitely. No one's ever called me a good long term. <laughs> 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 I can't tell you my friends watch us and they're like, what the fuck are you doing? Now you know about fucking. <laughs> 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 but about it, it out. 
And I actually, yeah, I said about Angelo, thank you very much because we, we love doing this. Phil said we could yes. do, if we could do it every, every day. Every fucking we day, want. 24 <laughs> 7, man. I, I, I couldn't sleep last night. I have not gotten a lot of sleep in the last four weeks because of this. Let me tell you. And it's not in a bad way, it's in a good way. Oh, God. Um, oh, you used to do stand up comedy. God damn, so don't do, remind me. Do you have the best joke that you've ever told and you want to tell us? No, I have all the worst jokes ever. So bro. give us, yeah. oh, system, my, give us your worst well, joke. My, yeah. opening, <laughs> my opening joke would be like, what's up, guys? And I add gay. Hey, guys, I'm bi. Biracial, biracial, chill out. And see how you guys aren't laughing? That's what would happen on stage. And that's why I quit, and that's why I'm a cameraman now. <laughs> we uh, so this is a play, by the way, and the only one who didn't feel. We did this on purpose. We wanted to laugh on purpose at your joke. Like that. Yeah, I mean, y'all proved my point. First of all, I didn't laugh. That was pretty funny. No. <laughs> but I'm real good at not laughing. I we wanted, trying, I we wanted you to put like cricket signs yeah, yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> looking all over Can the place. Can you do that to myself, motherfuckers? That's pretty funny. That was good. I was like, yeah, that joke yeah. really was never gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> that was an opening like the, fucking like ball. the dumb Irish guy doesn't get it. <laughs> By racial. Oh man. Uh, fuck. Good so times. Sparna, you got something, Randall? Talk to I me. I mean, yeah, with Jay. I was talking about Jay. That's how I met him. Do you have any uh, celebrity stories, Angelo? Oh yeah, yeah give us something. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I mean, I run a couple of celebrities. I, I a couple of dickheads I met. I mean, I don't really. Do you want to say a name who is a dickhead? That'd be pretty. Rick Ross. Oh yeah, Rick Ross, I can see man, that. the boss. I try. I didn't take try to take a, take a picture with him, but I seen like interns try to the male interns at least, and he just ignore him, not even pretend like he's like they're there. But the woman interns, mm, oh, sexual he does, harassment all day. Really? I seen Rick Ross go to a, one of the lady interns, and she said, "What are you looking at?" or something. He looked at her up and down, did his infamous oh. And, and just walked away. <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. Uh, awesome. you know, what about the coolest celebrity you've met? Ti is pretty cool. Fabio Foreign is cool. Band, man. Yeah. Um, you'd be surprised, man. The people that you expect to be like the most stuck up and like like the richest. I feel like the more money you make, the more humble you are. Because I feel like they came from nothing. I don't know. Okay. And they be. have nothing to prove. Like, they, they're there. They got it. It's the, it's the artists and, or the, the celebrities that are like, the up and like B-list, D-list. Mm. Like, they have to still have to maintain their image to be like, mm. stay relevant. They're the assholes. Yeah. You Move know out the way. He's coming through. Like, he's not nobody, man. I I'm trying to think who that who was like that. I mean, real quick, if you're thinking there, I don't know if the views ever had any interactions with any celebrities. I have, yeah. Because I'll tell my one. Oh, is, Bernie Williams. Bernie Williams. Wait, Bernie Williams. Bernie Williams is a, a big scumbag. Uh, <laughs> no. Why? It's a I, don't, I don't agree with you. I see Bernie Williams a lot. So I have a good story about Bernie Williams. He never tips. He tips so, uh, very okay, well. Okay, well, when, when I was. Oh, tips let me, me. Let me tell the Bernie Williams story. Go for it. So when I was a little kid, I was like eight years old, and my uncle worked for Kraft, Kraft Foods, like the cheese shit. <laughs> and um, they had a thing where Bernie Williams was giving a speech. And I brought my baseball stuff to so get signed by Bernie Williams. And after he gave the speech, I was right in front of him and he wouldn't sign my stuff and he just left. And I like was crying. And then the best part about it is like 20 years later, I'm bartending at Brazen and, and Bernie Williams comes in all the time. So I went up to him and was like, you remember me? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't sign my baseball glove when I was eight, you scumbag. I and, say. and I never gave him a buyback in my life after that. He didn't say Did anything. Did he respond? You know it. Uh, he don't, <laughs> of course not. He don't care. That's an, the one I ever, I, I done was uh, I met Ben Stiller when I used to work in the city in nice. Times Square. Mm -hmm. He comes in at like three in the morning, so we're ready to close. They were like, I think him and Eddie Murphy were shooting some kind of movie. That's nice. So he had two big bodyguards, like not standing over him, but like anytime someone went near him, he was just like, they're mm -hmm. like, stay away. So I'm like, this guy doesn't want to be bothered serving the beer. He's like, he goes to me, he's like, do you know anywhere where I can get another drink? I'm like, yo, hold a second. So I call my boy because he usually does after hours. I'm yeah. like, keep the bar open. Don't let anyone else in. So me and the two bartenders and uh, you went? Ben Siller went over there, had a beer with him, talked to him like he had a great aunt from like Donegal in Ireland or something. Shot the shit from him, had a, had a couple of beers and I left. Didn't ask for a picture. Didn't do anything. Yeah, that's a good move. I like that kind of stuff. You know what I mean, he, he was just a straight up dude. Yeah. Like you said, the but more famous you like are, he's that's not. A, that's an A-list. Like yeah. That's a A-list. But in your defense. Been taking pictures. I don't want to take a picture. You I know, want to be treated like a human. You know yeah, yeah, gotta be. No, yeah, they get it all the time. Do you know what's shocking? They get it all the time. Yeah. To fucking go when you're like by joke. He's a, such a fucking handsome man. Yeah, you watch him on the TV, you don't think he's like that, like the Meet the Walkers and stuff. He's not. <laughs> he's one of the most beautiful men I ever met. Uh, <laughs> he's easy on the eyes. He's crazy. Fury. 
Nice yeah, bomb better than Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury. <laughs> <laughs> That's so far Zoolander, out of range. Zoolander himself. <laughs> hey, That's yeah. your boy. No, I know. I know you think I love Tommy Fury, <laughs> and I do. <laughs> <laughs> ben Stiller is number one, man. Nah, me and Charlamagne did so many, like, had so many moments like that together. I shot his cousin's wedding, and he, he was his best man. And we went partying afterwards. Uh, Charlemagne took took us to get Manny Petties together in the city. That's, I love that. We had some great bonding moments. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, definitely. They are they are the so best. So Charlemagne's cool too. Char Charlemagne is uh, Charlemagne is just Charlemagne, man. Everybody's like, he is his own person. He wants to be like the thing about Charlemagne. He's he's not afraid to say what comes to his mind. I man. like that. One time I was wearing some busted ass dirty sneakers from uh, they were the nineteen. I had a uh, old, I had a new, I had a nice pair of nineteen eighty nine pumps. I bought them when I worked at the uh, sneaker store in two thousand. 15, I want to say, 13, 2014, 2015. And I had them until like 2019 worn down. And I had a warm to the radio station one time, and Charlamagne was like, oh, bro, those are the 89 pumps? Those are nice as hell. Looks like you got them out of the garbage. Those are nice as hell. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, though. <laughs> and yeah. that's the Charlamagne for you. But you have yeah. that relationship with them is way, is way better than you fucking who sure to me. Let's take a selfie and shove it up on Instagram, yeah, Facebook for 100 nobody, likes. Nobody who likes gives that. a and fuck? That's it. And yeah. that's it. And that's, that's the only, that's that's all, it, that. only interaction. And that's why I understand where they come from, you know, at some extent. You know, and that's like, why I don't really do music videos anymore either because that's an artist that, like, the up and coming from people from out here, they would meet a celebrity. Oh, yeah, I'm locked in with so and so. Now, y'all, the price went up. Not really because I really work with celebrities and I really work with the top people. And I'm not like that. So I know you're just. Exaggerating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had another uh, a funny run in with uh, with Big Boy from Outcast. Oh wow! I was in Denver, and me and my girl, we were all fucked up. We get back to the hotel, and there's just a million people standing around the elevators. And the you know how there's like three elevators on each side in a hotel, yeah. and they were like kind of down more, waiting for the elevator. But the one right next to me opened, so I went in with my girl, and they were like already waiting, so they were kind of mad at me. But his posse comes over <laughs> and just looks in. Looks into the elevator, and I was, like, holding it. I was like, are you going to come in or not? Like, Big Boy was like, he didn't want it. He thought, like, I knew him, and yeah, I was going to, yeah, yeah. you know, I had no idea who he was. Mm -hmm. So he's like, I'm like, uh, are you going to come in or not? I'm holding the elevator. And then the, one of his posse says, they don't know who you are, and they came in. So Big Boy's in the elevator next to us. I didn't know who he was. <laughs> and we're going up, and we're just, like, not saying anything. <sighs> and then the, one of his guys says to me, do you know who this is? And I looked at him, and I was like. Yeah, if it was 2001. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was Please like, say you, I don't care. I, he, I looked at him and I was like, no, I, uh, no. And then he was like, that's Big Boy from Outcast. I was like, oh shit, man. I was like, so fresh and so clean, clean. Uh, but then, but then, but then he was like upset that I didn't know him. Uh, I'm I, like, bro, what is it? You were, you, you, you wanted me to not know you. To get, I would have doubled down podcast. not knowing him. <laughs> but yeah. he wanted me to not know him to get in the elevator. Now he wants me to know him and like, like relax. Being a I would have doubled down. It's a different type of mental game. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, I, I'll do one more slab story just because. This, we'll never ever probably talk about this again. Yeah. Um, and that's because we're not having the celebrity freaking barber on ever. <laughs> but I actually, I did meet a, a, a Chatham Tatum. So one nice. is, one Saturday night or Sunday morning, I woke up, well, this is like 10 years ago, and I'm, I'm so hungover on, on the sofa with my boy, and the TV comes on, that's uh, the movie Step Up to the Streets. So I'm like, turn this shit off, and like the controller's over there, and he's like, I'm not getting it. And I'm like, I'm not getting it either. So we just lay there watching it. Mm -hmm. Turned out it was a pretty good movie. Four <laughs> days later, Chatham Tatum stands in front of me, Asking, he comes into the bar. He's like, "Do you serve food?" And I'm like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" I like, I watched this movie four days previous. I couldn't remember yeah, his well, name. Is he better looking uh, than Ben Stiller? Yeah, yeah, that's what we need to know. Ben Stiller, in my opinion, sorry, Chatham, <laughs> Ben Stiller is a better looking human. Wow, which that's, people will not believe. The girls love Channing Tatum, and Channing Tatum is a, he's he's actually a lovely human being because he comes up to me and finally he's like, he's like, "You serve food?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I can do food for like ten more minutes." So I, I finally Google. I was like, "Step up to the street, Channing." I was like, "I was like, uh, are you Channing Tatum by the way?" And he's like, "Yeah." He goes. He's like, who's your name? I'm like, not that it matters. My name's Seamus. <laughs> he was just like, nice to meet you. And him and he was with this woman that time, and they were nice. Real little, did great people. little did Channing know you're going to be famous for Trust the Channel, yeah. I've only I think met, you remember that. I've only met one movie star, I feel like, or well, two if you count. Well, I, when Bad Boys 3 came out, I met Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. Did he slap you in the face? Yeah. No, he was cool. He could have <laughs> yes. wanted to. I, I was, Will Smith I, I was might walk in here at any minute. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, that was the only moment when I was like, can we take a selfie? I yeah. had yeah. Fan did you get the fuck out? Yeah. Did, you get, yeah. did you get the Listen, selfie? I got the selfie. I love bro. Will Smith too. Yeah, yeah, awesome. I love him. Yeah. Even after everything, Fresh I still, Prince, I still yeah. fucking love him. Fresh yeah, Prince, Bad Boys. I do like Chris Rock. I roll by Everybody hates Chris. Men in Black. What the fuck? Men in Black, bro. I roll by what else? What else? Oh my God. He's in everything. I am Legend. That's a great movie. Oh, it's the best. Even his Buster, great movie. Hancock is a great movie. I, don't I like know. Hancock. He, he's prolonged our like whole life. Drunk superhero. Because he has Fresh Prince when yeah, we younger. Prince. And on all the movies, like he's, yeah, he's, he might be the biggest one, actually. That's, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, Shamar Moore, I don't know if you're familiar with him. He does SWAT now. 
Mm. Nah, it's that's like you a criminal minds. No, anybody? I, I watched watch that. Ah, I watched SPU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's I probably think, the biggest movie star I met. I, I don't really be in that. I don't really be around the actors like that. Yeah. Well, Shell said it's, it's good to just find out. Like, I met Dana up. White once. He was cool. Dana White, who's that? I just gave him, he's the owner of the UFC. Yeah. Yeah. I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of Dana Carvey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dana White was cool. That's I awesome. gave him a handshake. I was like, I was like, you're awesome, man. He, came, he actually went to the bathroom and then he came back and gave me another handshake when he saw me, which was cool. He came up to me. Oh, after. you were, you, that is I was in again? Wyoming. I was Wyoming. In, I, I knew you were somewhere around them. I think he thought I was from Wyoming because I was dressed <laughs> as a cowboy. And he's like, wow, these Wyoming people like Do me. you think <laughs> that having like UFC fighters, like MMA fighters, would be a good Guests, yeah, definitely. Show. I mean, definitely, yeah. I think I might know some up and coming like people that done like undercard fights in the in the MMA. That's yeah, that's really good. Yeah, wow. mm -hmm. that's gonna really keep the viewers on like a knife edge. <laughs> the chokehold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in, in the crowd. Sparno crowd. Yeah, we can see if he can get Shout out. Shout out to yeah. Sparno <laughs> fighter. Get out of oh, the Sparno crowd. It's great. Mean, the system again. Show us the moves on Sparno. So we'll start him. We'll start Sparno in the Sparno crab. Yeah. See if they can get out of it. I actually the, will take Sparno. Yeah. It's that's impossible. Set the system back. That is. <laughs> so is it bad? The odds are not. Oh, not oh, stop. <laughs> um, I don't know about. You might have to do live gambling on an episode. <laughs> that would be, be awesome. Yeah, we take bets like the Sparno or the fucking UFC fighter in the crab block. <laughs> is it time to get our guest picks or? Oh, yeah. 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 You got Angela. Some? Oh, so we always do, you know. Shame. Well, Go so ahead. first of all, I had a. We like, tried to win you some money. I had all these picks lined up for this the celebrity barber. So, like 10 minutes before the show, I had to Make change up picks. everything. So uh, Angelo's full name is, I think, you're, is, are you half Italian as well or no? Yeah, I'm half Italian. Ah. It's, it's Angelo Scarfone. Scar Scarfone? Scarfone. Scarfone. So, Scarfone. So in Ireland, you'd be known as Andrew Carfone. Andrew. Andrew Carfone. So Carfone. Andrew you're, Carfone. Yeah. There's no Scarfone. So we, no Angelo? Eh, no, there's no Angelo. Andrew is so, crazy. Why are you Welcome. Andrew? We're going to make Angelo. That's like my Spanish no name in Ireland. Huh. So, car phone. So, we will do games related to cars, I guess, is where I'm going with this bit. <laughs> oh, right, right over your head, Sparno. Um, as usual. Car phone. So, the first up. game is the TCU Horny Frogs uh -huh. against huh. SMU Mustangs. So, okay. the I'm Mustangs against the Horny Frogs. Wait, what's the and spread? The spread is TCU are minus two okay. favorites. So, do you, what do you got? Uh, I'm going SMU. All right. Yeah, SMU. Gonna, <laughs> you might have to go for all the cars. SMU. Mustangs. The next one is we're keeping it local. The Ford and Fordham Rams oh, wow. against the Ohio Bobcats. So that game, oh. there's no actual spread. We don't know. There's no this? special. Yeah. This is football. Ford, yeah, is football Ford, team? Is that? Yeah. D1? Yeah, yeah, D1? Yeah, it's Division 1. Yeah, yeah Division one. 1. Yeah, Yeah, but they just play against like their own, the teams in their stupid division. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's a, it's a pick'em. Yeah, they want the Rams against the Bobcats. Ohio Bobcats. Oh, University of Ohio. Uh huh. Yeah. It's in, <laughs> it's in Ohio. But it's the spread game. The spread's probably going to be like 40 or something that we don't know yet. Yeah. We don't, the, right now, there's no spread. Put, they haven't even worked it yeah, out. Come on. Iona? Iona? No, 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 Fordham. Fordham. I mean, Fordham. Fordham. Yeah, Fordham. Yeah, Fordham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fordham. Okay, Fordham. Fordham. Yeah, Fordham. Fordham. Yeah, Fordham. Yeah, Fordham. I was thinking. No, okay. no, what are you, what are you picking? Oh, I'm not. I'm going against Fordham. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, It's in Ohio, so that's probably a nice system bat. Then we'll move on to NFL. We've got the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Jaguar, mm -hmm. uh, and they're playing the LA Chargers. LA Chargers are seven I point favorites. Charger. Well, you got to take it. Oh, wow. no Char wait, Jacksonville versus Chargers. Wow, I didn't yeah. realize it was two cars wow, against each other. Wow, two cars. Yeah. Even <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! I just thought it was a freaking Jaguar. I. I Nah, I definitely go in Chargers, bro. Yeah, you got it, bro. All right. Yeah. I have that in my Sparno pick later on. We get into that. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait for that. That's very oh, exciting. Yeah, I actually don't know what it is. And the final one is it's back in the Ram train. It's the LA Rams against the Arizona Cardinals. So LA Rams are minus three and a half point favorites, and that game is in Arizona. Yeah. In Arizona won last the week before. Yeah, they won last week. Yeah, Kyler um, Martin. Both crazy. The Rams. Both of them won. Yeah, they both Rams won. really threw it away. They gave up like twenty points in the last quarter. Yeah, we had we uh, had the fucking Rams. And they I know. Blew our what? awesome three oh. four o'clock. See, that's the thing though. I really maybe you could say after this after I make this bet, you got to explain to me what this negative three point five and shit means. Let's do it right now. Oh yeah, we have to do a couple yeah, things yeah, about yeah. that. Actually, yeah, I, 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 always, I always think money line. Make that so, pick first. Money well, make this pick. So what I'm basically first. dumb it down is so it says LA Rams are minus three point five. If the LA Rams win by one, two, or three points, you lose. Not if three they, touchdowns. They have to, no, yeah, no yeah, three, yeah, points. three points. points. So they win by four, five, anything over. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. So if the LA Rams win by three points, you lose, lose the bet because they were minus three. If and you half pick the Rams to win, so they have yeah. more than a field goal. They have to win by four points essentially. Yeah. They're starting like negative. Oh, so the Cardinals is obviously the, the better bet then because there's because they're gonna get washed. You you think the Rams are gonna watch the Cardinals? Yeah. No, then the, the Rams will be the better bet because yeah. all they have to win is by like 
four points. But the system is opposite. Yeah. Who you think? Well, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Angelo, Angelo just does his picks. It's not about the system. I, yeah, I, 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 realistically, you think the, you think you think the Rams are going to wash the Cardinals? Absolutely. So you say that means you want to pick the Rams? Three player, three I think the system says the Cards. Yeah, but what do you want to do? But what do you want? My pick is the, is is they're not going to make the spread. Okay. So so, so, so the Rams. To so the Rams. Yeah. No, okay. Fair enough. The Rams are going to win by more than three points. I there guarantee that. He's got Don T in it. <laughs> I'm happy that Angelo asked that question that because yeah, we skipped that there's um, a lot of rookie bettors that watch this show or people that have never bet before in their lives and now are starting to bet. A lot of system versions. And Angelo puts, put, a, put a little light bulb over my head. Maybe he can actually do that for us. That, um, <laughs> I'm a producer, man. That's what I do. <laughs> so I think we kind of went into it before. But what I would like you guys to do when you're betting is just to take every single bet straight. Straight means with the spread, whatever we chose. Whether it's plus or minus. Whether it's plus or minus, you just take it straight. Mm -hmm. Don't do parlays unless we're on fire. Then do them. Yeah. <clears throat> and so Angelo's even asking, what does minus three mean? So for rookies out there, if a team is minus three, that means they're favored by three points, which means if you take that team to win on the spread, they have to win by more than three points for you to win the bet. Yep. If it's plus three and you take that team, that means they can lose by three or, or less. less or I'm win and you win the bet. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And what does the – so let's say I'm on FanDuel. Yeah. There's three columns. Yes. So that there's a um, spread. Yeah, spread. Then there's a money line. Mm -hmm. And then there's an over-under. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the over under means, like let's say whatever spread. the total points was, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like forty nine point five, for yeah. example. If it's forty nine point five and you pick the over, that means that both teams in that game they have to score more than fifty points. Yeah, the combined score. The combined score for you to win the bet. And if you took the under, then the combined score has to be, be less, less than that for you to win the bet. So we, Angelo, so we said that you let's say the over under is forty nine, <clears throat> and the score in your Rams game is twenty five to twenty eight. Which wins? No one. We just told you. So I see. I'm not good at math off the fly like that. <laughs> but if it's over, yeah, you know I mean, if it's over with the points, then yeah. you lost. So that was, that was that was that was forty. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Now, question though, you yeah. can't bet like that whole thing. Like you can only bet two of those lines. Like well, you can only bet a money line and a the spread. They don't or, let you bet the spread and the money line in one bet. Yeah, yeah that's what you can, bet yeah. Them as, you can bet them all three separate if you really want to. Yes. Do it, but, yeah. Like if you wanted to do a parlay, you can't do the. You points and the spread it's together. Kind of, essentially, it's kind of the same bet, so that's why they don't want you to do yeah. it. Yeah. Ah, see? And yeah. you'll notice then, if, like, if a team is getting seven points, or sorry, they're minus seven points, if you see the money line, they they, they up the odds. So that means instead, to win a, if you just take the, the minus seven, you'll bet $110 to win 100. Yeah. But if you want to wipe out that seven just to go like a straight pick them, yeah. you'll have to spend like $200 to win 100. Yeah, yeah. yeah which yeah. is retarded then. Yes, that's, okay. why, that's why we say take the, take the points. We're a giving lot of people, you the system with the points. Yeah, a lot of people like to do parlays with money lines. Yeah, and inexperienced bettors like to do the money lines huh. you know, that are under boy. It's like, then when someone wants to the Cowboys money line, I'm like, yeah, I understand it's juicier, you make more money, you yeah. know, double, triple your money, but I'm like, it's not over, the, over the course of the season, rather that's not going to work take out. Take the points. Yeah, it's not system. You know, the no, points is where it's at. Because if, 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 if the Cowboys are never by a touchdown, and it's the end of the game, the other team's going to kneel or slow it down. Yeah. And they're not in overrush to score. So that, anyone, that's who, the anyone who done that in the Cowboys this weekend, yeah, congratulations, you won. But if, I'm yeah. telling you, if you keep doing that over the course of the season, you're not going to end up up. Yeah. Question. Yeah. Would you say <laughs> it's, like, vital for bettors or gamblers to never bet with their favorite team? Or like I'd say not. But I'm a huge Ravens mm -hmm. fan, and I put the Ravens. Like I was going everything Ravens favorite. Oh, against like, for Miami. That like, against yeah. Miami, man. Uh, <laughs> so you have to you have to understand the system a little bit in order to do that. Like I love the Giants. I love betting the Giants. Yep. But I didn't bet the Giants last week. They wound up covering the spread. I bet them. It just didn't look system to me. I'm only going to bet the Giants if it's system. I might even bet against the Giants if it's system. Or I will if you're at the game itself. So if you at the game, always no, bad game I'll on that. <laughs> <laughs> always if you're at the game, you make it so much more fun. I, I've done this multiple times. I can't tell me how many Yankee games I went to, Giants game I go to, and I probably lost every time I bet with that team. So next time, if I go to the Giants game in Jacksonville, <laughs> I'm betting Jacksonville. I don't care what the line is, <laughs> <laughs> just because you're there. Sparno's such a mush I know. that he goes to the I game. And yeah, so that's great for the Giants. I He's probably all Jacksonville. What a weekend! I think 30 games I went to, they probably lost 25 out of them. 
Yeah, you are the fucking marsh man. System. That's, that's, uh, that's, yeah, that's system a serious is, system. Is opposite, and you, know you gotta I mean? bet against your heart. Yeah, that's the hardest thing a man, uh, it's, it's man hard to can do. do. And you're going against yourself. I feel like so women, women would be better gamblers. They just don't do it. I have my girl choose names all the time. Women can go baseball. against their guts a lot. I feel like they yeah. just, you know, they're the monsters. They're good at that. Men, it's hard for a man to go against his will because he thinks he's so right. Yeah. That's literally a bet, a parlay I did one time during NFL Sunday. I asked my girl, "Where would you rather go to, Tennessee or Atlanta?" <laughs> she did. She's Atlanta all day, so I picked Atlanta. The Falcons. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, sometimes that stuff works. But yeah. I, mean, I literally do shit by rate because all it is, kind of at the end of the day, is all it really is is mm-hmm. luck. Angelo, you'll get to the point. I, I hope there. I said I'm, we all know I keep banging on a Bengals fan. I will sooner, which I've done this season already, is I'll bet against the Bengals before I bet on the Bengals, even though I want them to win. Mm. So like the, like we said, Pittsburgh they were uh, uh, Bengals were six and a half point favorites. So in my head, I thought the Bengals were going to win by three points. So it's a double win. I win on the spread and the Bengals win. But do I was you, betting Pittsburgh. Do you guys ever bet your bet and then bet the opposite just so you have two bets? Well, no, 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 I cancel it out. No, yeah. 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 you will money. lose money because they charge you that extra ten dollars. The only time I might do that is let's say I'll take a like if for for some random reason I took a bet today, which is Wednesday, and the spread moves so much by Sunday is that I might just middle. be like, all right, you maybe like, I'll take the other the other team and try to get in the middle. Yeah, that's so the only team started today. You say they're minus ten, and then by Sunday they're minus seven. You mm-hmm. have a three-point that's window. That's probably not enough, but yeah. maybe I'll yeah. like a three-point window. You want to try in the middle. Win, you know, yeah. in the middle, you win both. Yeah, you could win so both. So basically, you're risking just a big, you're risking like 10% of your bet to win, possibly win both. Yeah. But you would do, that's that happens very rarely. That's so rare. I, so I, I rare. would not suggest that. It's the only that. time I do do it. <laughs> don't, don't, even why, don't, even, don't even look for that. Sparta's no. looking for it every day. No, no, no. <laughs> the only time I will do it is during the game, if it's like a blowout, and the team I have is winning. Oh, yeah, maybe they get a huge window sometimes. Yeah. If it seems up by like 21 I still don't and a half, like to do that's, that. Yeah, that's fair. I don't have enough time to... You, you, I don't know how you actually do What's, that when it's like during a live game. I just can't do it, man. But that's the only time I would do it. What sport do you guys think is the easiest to, to bet, bet the spread on? Obviously, football. Yeah, yeah football. NFL, football, NFL. NFL. I, think, I think NFL specifically, by the record. I, I, mean, I also like... So NFL. far, it's I also good, like yeah. NBA playoffs. No, no, NBA not, playoffs is we good, will too. D- yeah, once we, we'll get into In that. a month's time, when the NBA starts up... Uh, but this is playoffs. I don't really like the regular season. Oh, you don't like the regular season? No, the beginning of the season is always good. Yeah. And then it starts to fade off, and then... Yeah. NBA is a tough one because that's where you can lose your hat because there's fucking... So like many games. No system. Every single no, night. There is system. Yeah. There yeah. is, It's just but that there's so many games that you might just man, bet yeah. too many games just because of it. You know, fuck up a whole... Yeah. If there's like, yeah, 12 shit. games like, on every like, night There might be week. one real good system game, but there's 10 games on, so you might bet four, but you won the system game and, and you, you might lose the other two. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? We're going to try... When NBA starts, we're going to try to just give you... So, are really good system So picks. selective. Yeah. It might be one every other night. Yeah. That's why I like the playoffs. The playoffs are the last game. Oh, that's yes. true enough too, yeah. We don't well in the playoffs, actually. Yeah, we do good in the playoffs yeah, yeah. usually. Last year, I did really good. Um, nice. Okay. Thank you, Angela. Yeah, Thank Angela, you, guys. Thanks for stepping You're in. You're awesome. Uh, yeah, guys. Thanks for being on the best. show, bro. Yeah, man. Thank you. Hopefully, yeah. you get guests. So I don't have to come on anymore. Yeah. 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 Come I don't think this is the last time you'll see Angela. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next week's episode of Angela. Yeah. Right? This will become a four man show very, very soon. And we're just going to name it the Pod God <laughs> Cod, uh, Podcast. The, the Pod God is great. The yeah. system. <laughs> All right, so we forgot to say we're here at Growler's uh, Beer Bistro in Tuckahoe, New York. It's a home of the system. Home of the system. Home of the system. <laughs> <laughs> Land of the Brave. And um, we got Oktoberfest happening here. It's a huge event on Big, October 1st, Saturday. Biggest thing to ever hit Taco. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> the whole parking lot is open for, you know, drinking, uh, bratwurst, pretzels. We got a beer truck. These two guys will be bartending. It's so big, you get the be- two best bartenders in West Yeah, there. we actually leave white planes to come yeah. to Tuckaho and work. Yeah, it's it, one of the few days the systems together. Yeah, yes. you'll see us three all together. It's it's actually a huge, awesome day. It's so much fun. We yeah. have like Stein holding contests. We have um, a lot of ki- things for kids. We have face painting and pumpkin drawing for your kids. So if you want to come down, talk a little system to us yeah. while your kids have a good time. We actually might get a petting zoo too for the kids. No. Yeah, that's good. That was good because, and also there'll be a couple of TSC treats working with me and Mikey. Oh, That's yeah. also one for the, for the fans t- out there as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oktoberfest is a huge day. So it's October 1st, Saturday, it starts at 1 p.m. We got live bands. It kind of ends at like, you know, nine o'clock and then we just come inside and hang out. That's this Saturday week, the week after, right? Yeah, yeah next okay. Saturday, October 1st. Beautiful. All right. 
and that's a big system day. It's a Saturday. I'm, it's actually going to be hard for me to be posting that day because yeah, that one. That's yeah, the one that day, day we might. Have, we might have Angelo. You might have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's going to be a tough one for us to post, but uh, we'll get it done. We'll make it happen. <laughs> We've met, we and Sparta have plenty of time out there to go on our phones. I'll change a K. Put a little tweet in. <laughs> All right. Uh, can't wait. Um, now our the favorite part of the show. This week is not my favorite part, but I'll get it back. Yeah. I understand why it's Phil's favorite part. Oh, yeah, you're just missing 9-0. <laughs> I'm yeah. smiling here to hear Mr. 9-0. Man, can I go 12-0? Yes. Yes, you can. If I go 12-0, I think I'm, you're going to have to call me Charlemagne the God. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to, but some people can. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, Sparno. We well, we no, usually do... Thursday first. Yeah, we're, we're going to do the Thursday oh, picks. Oh, yes, We have yes, a couple yes, of Thursday yes, yes. picks. We, which we know, uh, obviously, you're watching this now on Friday, but me and Phil will give our two Thursday picks. All right, so the first Thursday game, um, college. Car uh, Coastal Carolina versus Georgia State. Georgia State's at home, plus three. Okay, it's a Thursday at 7.30 game. Um, Coastal Carolina's 3-0. and Everybody remembers last year. Coastal Carolina was a ranked team. They, they were, went undefeated, I think, most of the season. They were pretty good, yeah. And they were beating good teams. Mm. Yeah. Um, Georgia State's 0-3, and, and they're only plus three. I mean... That's like system one on one right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we're taking Georgia State system plus three Thursday. Wake up. Okay. Yeah. And I'll do the NFL game on that night. It's the Steelers versus the Browns. Don't really need to say too much about this game. Everyone's fresh in the memory. What happened to the Browns on uh, Sunday? Jets. First time one one minute fifty three minutes left. That's the first time someone's come back by over thirteen points in two twenty years. It said. Wow. Jeez. I didn't even so, know that. Yeah, twenty years. It never happens. They've been uh, telling you on purpose though. Well, maybe. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Actually, could be one of those things. Yeah, I don't think so. But yeah, maybe just right. the, way, the way it is is Browns. I said you. Yeah, most people that's fresh in their memory. The Steelers are. Uh, they look look. The Steelers beat my Bengals. They played pretty well against the Patriots. That was Phil's system bat. Mm -hmm. And in many ways, in some instances, they pushed. So yeah. uh, people are definitely going to be in the Steelers just from base value to the better team. And a plus four and a half. Did you yeah, say that? just four and a half. No one wants to take the Browns minus four and a half. Yeah, that's a... That's just a little fucking twister to make you bet uh, the yeah. Steelers. So the system bat for that is Browns oh, like that. minus four and a half. So uh, as you're watching here... You're sitting two and zero. Oh. Let's cheers that there. <laughs> <laughs> Fireworks <laughs> two and zero. Oh. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> and uh, right. Sparty, you want to run down your yeah, tree picks and we'll go back to yeah. yeah. Go on, you do the tree All right, picks. first game is Iowa versus Rutgers. Rutgers is three and zero. Oh. Iowa is two and one, and Iowa is minus seven and a half. I mean, just on paper, Rutgers is a better team at three and zero. Oh. I don't know who would take Iowa. Iowa only beat two teams, and they're terrible teams, horrible teams. And I feel like, and the over-under is only 34 and a half. The old me would always take the underdog here because they need to be a low-scoring game. It's to be a close game. Yes. They're not going to cover the spread. I feel like this might be the impossible outcome. We, it's going to be on that board. We haven't right talked about the impossible yeah, outcome. You've got to explain this the, is the impossible outcome. That explain the impossible, yeah. impossible yeah. outcome. Explain it. That Iowa is going to cover the spread and go under. Yes. So I feel like it's going to be like a 20 to 3 game, you know, maybe – 28 to, what, 7 of you? Over. The reason we call it the impossible outcome is because who in their right mind is going to take the big favorite yes. and, and the under, under on the yeah. same game? Yeah. And it happens more than you think. Yeah. It happens a lot. It's yeah. one of our favorite bets, actually. Yeah, it's one yeah. of our right. favorite bets. All right, next game, we got the Redskins plus 6.5 versus the Eagles. I really like the Redskins here. Everyone loves the Eagles. They had a great game on Thursday. They played phenomenal, and they looked really great. Redskins just lost to a shitty Lions team. <laughs> Terrible team. I love what he says. That. Me too. They're a horrible team. <laughs> Who's their quarterback? I don't even know. <laughs> Golf. Is he yeah. worse than uh, Cooper Rush? Cooper Rush? I don't know. Man. He surprised uh, me last week. I kind of like Cooper Rush now. Yeah, that's. <laughs> so, he's uh, not an idiot. He's not, he's he's not an idiot anymore. He's a great guy. <laughs> All right. So I'm going with Redskins plus six and a half. Yeah, and just for that's people, yeah, just for the again the newbies out there watching, they're not actually called the Redskins anymore. They're going to be oh, under yeah, your thing as the yeah, Washington yeah. Commanders. I, I refuse to call them Commanders. They're always going to be the Redskins toss. That's just what we grew up with. But if you're looking on the betting websites or whatever, it's going to be under Washington yeah. Commanders. Yeah, right. Just to no keep, one calls it, keep it PC. Yeah. Oh. And I also had some some big time rookie mistakes from uh, rookie betters. Then when I picked Washington College last week, they were betting the the the, the Washington Commanders. Mm. And you you got to pay attention, man. Yeah, just wake up. That's great. You also said that because I'll jump in now and do my uh, my my two remaining picks because one of them is at twelve o'clock on a Saturday and it's it's Buffalo versus EMU. So okay. I'm talking about Buffalo College, not the Buffalo Bills in the NFL. So yeah. it's Buffalo plus six. So Buffalo, uh, they're all own three. 
terrible start. Uh, EMU just beat Arizona State. So EMU aren't that, re- uh, aren't that well known. We know them, but yeah. Arizona State's well known. Yeah. Axe Jack, Jets coach Herm Edwards still there. So people notice when a team like that gets beat. So, oh, yeah. EMU just beat Arizona State, and now they only have to beat Buffalo by less than a touchdown. It's system, system to just go against that. Yes. Buffalo plus and six. Look, you had the bag of shame last week. <laughs> the real Seamus <laughs> is back this week. <laughs> You take that to the back. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right, and finally, I gotta go NFL. Man, sometimes I want to pick more NFL. Because I know. We're just NFL. Killed, great. We're, NFL. We've been oh, good we, on NFL so oh, far. Damn, I actually fucked up because I already done my NFL bet. Oh, yeah, it was Thursday. Was Remember Thursday? Oh yeah, Thursday, so I'm Thursday sticking. Yeah, I'm okay. sticking. Sorry to college. I got ahead of myself. And it's uh, Stanford is uh, playing Washington. Stanford are plus thirteen and a half. So as most of you just watched, I think Phil mentioned earlier, Washington. It was actually his pick last week. Yeah, Washington week. beat. Uh, 11th ranked Michigan State. I also done this a few weeks ago where I was against Illinois and then I go with them. I'm using the same logic for this. That everyone just watched Washington beat uh, the 11th ranked team in the country. Stanford just got crushed by UFC and they barely beat Colgate. Like, who are Colgate? I brush my teeth with Colgate. I live on Colgate Avenue. <laughs> he lives in Colgate Avenue. <laughs> I brush they, my teeth with Colgate. They, 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 round, they rounded up 11 guys from Sparno's block. And yeah. they, they, play, they, play they, against. Have, they have the whitest teeth you've ever seen. <laughs> So Stanford are playing their 13 and a half point underdogs. Take Stanford. System. That's system, bro. Uh, that's me. That's going to get me back on the... Uh, well, yeah, I'm going Trino. Trino, you heard it oh, first. Wow. Trino. Wow. No bag. And this so, is a rough week. And we're, 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 I'm, I'm confident. We're trying. All right. So, all right, here we go. I'm 9 and 0 on the show. Oh, here we go. We know. Once again, <laughs> we, nine, actually, we got the nine, we got the 9 and 0 show. The 9, <laughs> we got the nine, nine and 0. <laughs> and we got the 9 and 0 show and he gives us watching? the 9 and 0 show. Nobody's watching. Nobody's uh, paying attention. Yeah. Nobody cares. Have you ever met a gambler going 9 and 0 in your life? 9 and 0. <laughs> One more time. It's so 9 and up. 0. All right. Usually so, I don't like that stuff with fucking 9 and 0. I got, yeah, I, I got um, Arkansas versus Texas A&M. Texas A&M is minus 2. Um, this is a nice wee fill special for you. All right. Arkansas is ranked number 10. Texas A&M is ranked number 23. Texas A&M is a favorite. Why are they favored? It's another Oregon situation. That begging you to take Arkansas. Enough said. We know. If you've been watching the show. His record speaks for itself. We know. Arkansas is 3-0. and Texas, Texas A&M lost to Appalachian State at home. Now they're playing Arkansas at home. They see, we've seen that they can lose at home. They're going to crush them. Yep. Fill your boots. Now I'm 2-0. Yeah, uh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 9-0 no show. The same thing last week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday I got at 1 p.m. I got the Chiefs versus the Colts. This is a rough one because uh, the Chiefs are dominant. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tip my hat to the Chiefs. They're good. They could be system killers down the say, road. They, yeah, they're on, the, they're on the radar. Not today. They're on the radar. Not today. The Colts are plus 6.5. This game should be a minus 10 mm. At least. The Colts just got shut out by the Jags, 24 to nothing. Oh, that's disgusting. Their um, offense stinks. And they tied the Texans in the, in the first oh, game. Oh, they're 0 one, one So they tied the Texans week one. <laughs> they lost to the Jags, 24 to nothing. Two of the, two of the yeah. notoriously worst teams in the NFL. Was very now they're plus team. six and a half to the <laughs> greatest team in all time. Great, yeah. <laughs> Why? The dynasty over they here They should Kansas. be like <laughs> plus 25 and a half, I feel like. The Chiefs yeah. should blow them out, but... System, we're taking the Colts yeah. plus six. If this was five years ago, I would take the Chiefs. Of course you would. People are already talking to me, looking at that early line, going, oh, I'm betting the Chiefs this weekend. I'm only like, a touchdown. Bro, I'm only a touchdown. I'm like, are you paying a fucking tension? <laughs> Colts is, I, I do this every week because I'm riding on his fucking win streak. Colts is my bet of the week. <laughs> <laughs> I love that bet, man. All right. That's so fucking good. Right. We have one little surprise for you. Oh, we, yeah. We, that's, the, that's basically the end of the show, but yeah. we're going to be doing this every week from now on. It's we a, haven't been using Sparno no, to his full potential. We got u- to <laughs> utilize Mike Sparno. So we're system 101. We love the system. And the reason it works is because Sparno is, I, the and I public. also still got the old Sparno still in me. Yeah. I cannot he, get out. He, it's hard, to get, him, can't get, it's it's hard not, to get the old Sparno out of He's not like Dano where he buries him in a tomb. Let me, let me he tell comes you guys out every fucking week. Let me tell you guys a funny story. So... <laughs> He's the me me right and Seamus are here for about an hour, looking looking through all the picks, looking through all the picks. System the shit out of things. Before Sparno came today, and he walks through the door, and he's like, <laughs> "Oh, I got my three games. I don't know if you got. I don't know what you guys know." And he literally picked. 
the opposite of, of what we already <laughs> had. <laughs> yeah. So that's like, it confirmed that we're good. Yeah. So that yes. was like, you know what? We got to include this segment. So now we're, we're going with the Fade the, the Sparno segment. So this is going to be a weekly thing. And I think it's, man, by the way, I had a huge night last night. I think I might be still a little bit tipsy. So I think this thing is going to be so big <laughs> that we're going to make a little song for it. This is just off the cuff, but it goes a little something like this. You ready, Mikey? <laughs> Time for Feed the Sparno. <laughs> Everyone feed the Sparno. <laughs> hey, look, it's Mike Sparno. Give us uh, some losers today. Boom. All right. Uh, <laughs> with, with the phone in the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Feed the Sparno. <laughs> Why is that happening? So we've really been doing just straight games on teams, but I like the over-unders. That's one thing I always like to do. So, again, just to confirm, these are what combined scores of two teams are. Got to be over a certain amount or under a certain amount. And this is what Sparno likes, so we don't like. Yeah, this is what he actually likes. So whatever he says, we want to do the opposite. We're going to fade it. Okay. We're going to fade it on the show. But we're going to put – how do we – we'll talk about it later. All right. So my first pick, one thing I always loved for years, and when it's an extremely high over, I like to go over on that game. When it's extremely low under, I like to go under that game Mm -hmm. because I just feel like that's the way to go, and that's in every sport. Okay. But in this situation, you have the Bills versus Dolphins. The over-under is 52 points. Both these teams have been scoring fucking nonstop. Uh, Bills scored 31 points in week one and 41 points in week two. Dolphins scored 20 week one and 42 points week two. So they're both high-scoring offensive teams. I feel like this is going to be a shootout. So I'm going over. And obviously, you guys. Yeah, so you're going over Dolphins. And people watching this probably agree with them. Yes. So, so we're, we're going under. We're going under. We're going game. under. All right, good luck. <laughs> my next one is... <laughs> <laughs> my next one is the Texans and the Bears. Both <laughs> terrible teams. Texans got 20 points the first game and then 9 points the second week. And then the Bears got 10 points both games. What is the over-under on that? 40. 40. 40. Okay, so... It's so pretty under, low. Under 40, you're saying? I think it's under 40. Mm-hmm. Right. They, they suck. They can't score. Neither will, team can score. Yes. I, will, I will gobble up so the over. That over looks... Yeah, they might actually, yeah. another bet I like to do is no touchdowns <laughs> in the game. I uh, think this might be a game to do no, t- okay. no touchdowns in the game. And that, that line is crazy. Yeah, just real quick. Was that last season or the season before? So Mike, one. Mike does it oh every God, single man. week. I can't believe it. And the one week... Did something happen where you tried to put in and it didn't happen? Yeah, or? I went to Bobby V's. I put 20 bucks in to put in for the no score in a, the Bucks versus Saints game. It was a Sunday night game. No and touchdowns, I was, I, no touchdowns yeah. in the game. And then, like, I put the 20 bucks in and just, like, shot back the 20 bucks. I'm like, you know what? That's a sign. I'm not going to do it. And that game ended up being no yeah. <laughs> right, right. what was 20 odds? bucks, I would have got, like, 3000 or 20 bucks. He Damn. was so sick. And the funny thing was it almost repeated itself on Sunday. I know. There was no touchdown scored same until game. the last seven minutes in the fourth quarter of wow. the Saints box game. I know. Me and him crazy. were looking at each other. I was like, this is going to fucking happen again. Oh, oh my God. It's so fucking it. nuts. If it happened again the next year, it would be Bucks Saints. Uh, <laughs> no touchdowns again. So we got, the, we got the Bills, Dolphins over, and we got the Texans, Texans Bears under. under. What else you got? Yeah, uh, one more game. I, I did the spread. I did the Chargers minus seven versus Jags. As we said before, Jags suck. Chargers are a great team. Herbert? Hubert? <laughs> Herbert? Herbert. He's a great quarterback. Uh, I like when you call him Hubert. But he, he actually is. <laughs> just really, call really him really Hubert good. for it. Uh, he's a great guy. I think he's going to kill them. They, they, they should be the Chiefs. You know, they really should have actually should have won that game. You know, system wise, uh, just for, for, you know, for people out there, uh, the only thing, I mean, I do like the Jags in that, but the only thing I don't like about the Jags is that they just uh, shut out a team 24 to nothing. Yeah, sometimes so that's... Just, this, should just, this could be a no bet for this system. I would say it's a no bet, but the fact is, if you swing back, uh, Angelo took the Chargers, Sparno's taking yes. the Chargers. That's two people out of... That starts getting you going. That's interesting. It is. That we'll makes see what me, happens. Uh, I, I can, I'll, I'll take the Jags. Right, I'll, so take, just I'll take the Jags there, anyway. These three picks... Our fade picks. Yeah, this so is you, great fade material. So, you, so you got you, under. You, you, you want to go against that? Yeah, do okay. the opposite. <laughs> if you do, good luck. <laughs> I, I, I think the fade is going to go three really, and zero. Yeah, Sparta really believes in this. The Sparta so, three and zero. That's why this is the best segment of the show. Yeah, think. it is. Um, uh, it's going to be a weekly thing. We'll keep track it's, of this. We'll keep track of the Sparta uh, fade picks. We're going to need a bigger board. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, that was it. Episode five, Pod God episode. System. Just remember to watch us on all the podcast, um, the things you watch podcasts on, which are Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, YouTube. YouTube. and YouTube especially. And please subscribe to the YouTube. Yes, please. It, it'll help us down the road. We're helping you. You help yeah, us. We're not so- asking for money. 
Well, we will in a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we're not, um, you know. Angelo's up this rate, so uh, we actually included a little uh, uh, link on the Instagram page. So if yeah. you're doing well and you enjoy the picks, there's a little uh, click yeah. down boxing. Throw click a little bone. Throw a couple of clams this way. Every little helps. It's the link in our bio on the Instagram it page. It is, okay. You can click the link in our bio, and there's a donation thing. Feel free to just, you know, throw us a couple bones. Yeah, I can't emphasize now we finally got onto Spotify. Uh, Joe Rogan, we're coming for you. So uh, <laughs> that's big for us. So yeah. don't forget yes. to subscribe there as well. And system. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, another great show. And we'll be back next week. Pod God. System. Pod God. <laughs>